It's thinking. It's thinking. And if this does it correctly, it's going to take us back to a state at cruise level, flight level 340, before the wink point called Sinka. But um, assert says we may need to try it more than once. I'm going to let it sit here and spin for a moment, and then we can chitty chat, and I might even take a take a bio break. Does it load up paused? Ah, that's a good question. Bow dudes. Why are you pointing to yourself? <laughs> what are you saying? I think I'm not sure. It seems like it's still loading. Maybe I should try it again, assert, or should I wait? Give it a moment. It it might be loading in the scenery from okay. the surrounding area there. Okay. You're quite far away from that. So. And I'm also uh, I'm also you know, running ortho photos, so that probably throws something into the mix. Oh, look at this. <gasps> oh, yeah. It, it, oh, it ortho, worked. It takes a lot of time. It worked. Yeah, it's still loading in the ortho photo. That's fine. Oh. I'll let the... Yeah, the ortho's coming in. Look at... I've never been able to do load states for any aircraft. It seems like every aircraft I've ever tried to do this in, it it's broken. Whoa. Yep, it, this it is a killer feature, I think. Wow. It does say landing inhibit. But maybe that's because I got some landing inhibit. I'm gonna change my altitude. There we go. Try and uh, I maybe just changed my landing time. I changed my my altitude and it's fine. I can clear the ecam probably. Maybe I don't know. Try to load it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Just as a test or to get rid of the landing inhibit. Yep, just as a test. Okay. I'd be, I wonder if that landing inhibit message might go away, basically. All right. I'm going to try to load this again, folks, but I'm going to take a bio break. It should so be, I'll be much right faster back. this time because you've already got the scenery loaded. I will be right back. Load. Be right it back. should be much, much quicker now. In fact, I might go grab another cup of coffee, so I'll be probably 95 seconds. Please uh, audibly chat to the chat. Total oh, Rico. my. Yes, you're you're now in charge. You can you can run the show for the next 95 seconds or maybe 120 seconds. Come back quick. It's going to be a boring show with me. Or or maybe even 180 seconds. Irish coffee. Hey guys, so if there's any questions in the chat that you want to ask me, feel free to go ahead. I'll try to answer to the best of my abilities. I think, sorry, the landing inhibit's gone now and we're reloaded, so I think we're good. Awesome. I'm going to let it be on autopilot for a bit. I'll be right back. So, folks want to know what the better pushback 045 update is going to bring. It's not, honestly, it's not all that much. Uh, I haven't uh, done a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of development on it from 044. Um, I've been busy doing other things. Among other things, is also stuff for the A320 here. So, um, yeah, it, it's been it's been working a lot. Uh, Full Toga asks, um, "This is holding work in this model. Um, currently, it only does uh, the procedural holds that are coded in the database. It does not do holds, uh, pile of entered ho holds. And assert might be able to answer better there. But basically." This, this is the sort of thing that was put off a little bit off to the side because we basically want to get the core functionality of the airplane stabilized so that it flies right during normal operations, sort of during normal flight. And then we'll put in the additional features like pilot entered holds, beam points, and stuff like that. 
So there's nothing in principle that prevents us from doing it other than we're first trying to get the bases right and then we want to start adding stuff. Um, Ultimate Simulations, does the A3, FFA320 simulate all three hydraulic systems? Yes, it does, to an amazing amount of precision. Um, without you having a look at the code, obviously that's a little bit difficult, but essentially the kind of unique thing about this airplane is that rather than it simulating, let's say, the whole hydraulic system as just a number, like this is the pressure in the hydraulic system, period, what it actually does is it simulates all the hydraulics and all the electric systems as a set of wires and as a set of elementary electrical components and then it runs physics on top of them. So for instance, when you push a switch in, there's actually an electrical signal being simulated, being sent to the responsible flight control computer that then in real time running on a separate thread picks up the signal and tries to do some sort of processing and generate other signals within the airplane. So for all intents and purposes, you're essentially looking at a, at, at a at an A320 running inside of your computer as, as good as it could be made, essentially. So let's see if there are any other questions. Um, the meaning of the server setting in the EFB. Uh, the EFB, uh, you have to understand that at the, at one of the core systems of the airplane is an actual uh, HTTP server. So the way that the EFB is implemented is that it basically talks to the internal HTTP server in the airplane to set up state for the airplane. At the same time, that allows not only the EFB to talk to the HTTP server, it also allows you to connect to the to the EF sorry to the EFB and to the MCDU via an external browser. So that is something that has been put in specifically for hardware cockpit builders, people who, are, who don't want to be using the virtual cockpit. They want to be using a, an external iPad or something like that to give them a, a sort of more physical feel of the, of the individual systems. So that's, uh, that's, that's the purpose of that. Drummer X, so the purpose of strobe lights auto and on Auto and auto, uh, I keep forgetting the exact switching conditions for the auto state, but basically it's, it's going to turn on the, the, auto, the strobe lights only for takeoff, flight, and landing. And as soon as you basically hit the ground, it's going to turn the strobe lights off. On is just manual on, always. Yeah, could be due to using a weight on wheel switch. That's another possibility to do it. I'd have to look at the exact wiring diagram to to tell you to be exact. Um, assert might know that by heart, or he's right now looking through the code and trying to figure that out. I wouldn't put it past him. Any other questions? John Fly says coffee's three quarters filled. Good, good. I hope he's not holding out and letting me talk here. Uh, full take of what would you have? Uh, your a weight on wheel switch on a DA42 for what? For strobes? Sure, I guess. What's my favorite part about the FFA320? Personally, um, I'm kind of strange in that since I'm a coder and a developer, um, I'm really, really impressed by the depth of the system simulation that has gone into the airplane. Because I'm, I'm in close contact with a CERT and I know what he's working on and I have a, somewhat of a behind the scenes look at the airplane. I know just how much detail is in this simulation. And I could say without any question that from anything on X-Plane, I can tell you that this is absolutely 100% the most detailed and in-depth simulation. The amount of detail that has gone into just tuning the aerodynamic simulation is just out of this world. It's, it's in unreal. Compared with uh, other simulation add-ons on like FSX and P3D, I don't, I don't own those, so I cannot compare. I'd say that it is right up there with the best, but I cannot say that for sure because I can't compare. 
Yes, I'm back. Uh, W28, yes, electrical delay is modeled, and yes, uh, it is there. There is a signaling delay between various data transfer buses. So, for instance, if you were to do a TCAS test, uh, the TCAS test initiates as soon as you push the button, but you'll see the indications display on the ND and the PFD with a, a fraction of a delay. That's basically the delay with the signal processing in the display computers and the display units. So, so I, you've you've reloaded back to the runway. Oh no, I've done. I, I'm assuming I'm gonna need to restart the sim and get a fresh sim. But I, just as a test, I decided you know, I'm gonna go back to yesterday when I was at runway two seven right at Atlanta, ready for takeoff. I'm just gonna see how it, how it how well it does here. I I'm just even. It, oh my gosh. I did not have to reload the aircraft. There, there doesn't appear to be any situations. The, the sim is back to the exact state that I had yesterday prior to takeoff, including, I hope, a flight plan. Oh my gosh. I think everyone deserves like 150 snacks for celebrating this moment. Would, does anyone agree with me that everyone should get 150 snacks for the save load state of the Airbus A320? I think I think we should. What do you guys think? Vision bites. Yep. Yes. Yes. Y yes. You agree? Affirmative. 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 Yes. I'd like to get the chat moving sometimes, as you, as you can tell, Sasha. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, in the chat, I'm going to give everyone 150 snacks. That's the most I've ever given anyone at any given time. That's how excited I am about the save state situation. That is amazing. And prior to my landing at our, at our next destination, actually at five miles out, I think I'm going to do a save state, and I'm gonna, we'll, we'll practice that flare over and over until I get below sure. 300. <laughs> B2 asked a pointed question here, by the way. With all the detailed modeling, does it add any significant load to the CPU or GPU or the initial stuff? Um, in a sense, yes and no. Uh, the important thing here is that because the uh, simulation is done, unlike in many other sort of more primitive add-ons where much of the simulation of the systems is done sort of in line with the simulator rendering, here, Assert has done a marvelous job of putting all the avionics simulation into completely separate background threads. So there's like, I don't know, 20, 30 threads running on the background. So even though there's a lot of work being done with a multi-core CPU, the work spreads out really nicely and evenly. So the plane will just scale beautifully with uh, additional cores. Now, of course, I'm not going to say that it's going to run like butter if you have an old POS computer from 1950. Um, but if you have a reasonably powerful machine, a reasonably modern machine within, let's say, the last two to three years, you should be able to run the airplane just fine and get acceptable performance. And if not, um, the good thing is that it scales with better hardware really quite well. So uh, just to inter interrupt here, um, Assert said to use this thing for bug report I can uh, on the state save load. Was he... Was he referring to the landing inhibit, uh, or was well, assert? Maybe you can clarify what you wanted me to do there with regard to the bug report. And so, in fact, either one of you can also submit that bug report. <laughs> so, with the bug reports, the important thing is that these states are saved into files, and you can find them in the airplane. Oh. And so. We okay. hugely appreciate when you now, ah, when you okay. submit a bug report, if you attach the state file, then we can load up the simulator and we don't mm. have to laboriously try and recreate the state because the state file contains the whole state of the airplane already put in. So we can just recreate it at the click of a button. That's so awesome. Oh, so he's saying you please use the state load to recreate problems. Oh, I understand now. Thank you. Okay. 
perfect. All right.